bit wonky because I slept in my sleep stylers and it, my curls are always really tight when I wake up so they'll fall and look pretty throughout the day but the morning's always a little ugh. Anyways, Dior Forever Summer Skin. Let me tell y'all. I don't know why but Dior just doesn't want to give information about the release of this product. It didn't release with their summer collection and on their Instagram they just like wouldn't say when the release day was and I'm like I'm trying to buy this because I love Dior base products. Their Air Flash foundation is my absolute favorite and they have a couple liquid foundations that I also really love. So I was like well I need to have this. It's different from all of the other products that they have because it's like a summer foundation, really lightweight, kind of like a skin tint maybe. I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, I couldn't find it and they wouldn't tell me when it would release. But it is available at Selfridges. So I did purchase this at Selfridges. If you aren't familiar with Selfridges, it is a UK based website. So I'm assuming this is more readily available in Europe, but in America, like that's the only place I could find it. If you aren't familiar with Selfridges, obviously it's from the UK, shipping is expensive, but with Selfridges, you pay $55, like a one-time fee for $55. I believe it's for a year's worth of free shipping and it hurts to pay that $55 it does but honestly you guys I'm telling you if you haven't done that you need to it is totally worth it because their actual shipping they ship through DHL it gets to your house pretty quickly regardless of COVID like this came in just a few days from the UK no issues at all it's even faster when COVID isn't here they ship all the way from Europe way faster than Sephora does and that's all I'm gonna say and also to make it more worth it a lot of times they'll get products that just aren't available in the US yet so you can get those products first and also just because of the exchange rate a lot of items are actually less expensive like Charlotte Tilbury is always a few bucks cheaper I'm just saying it's worth it I need to use those $55 I spent more to my advantage because sometimes I forget I'm gonna be honest but like seriously they have fast shipping anyways and sometimes you can catch a bit of a better deal so okay anyways let's get back to this from what I am aware of this is limited edition I did see that on Dior which is weird to make a foundation product limited edition but okay so if you want it limited edition like i said currently only available at selfridges if you have any information on release date when it will be available to the us when it will be available in other places other than selfridges can you please comment that down below and i will pin your comment i feel like i searched the internet far and wide could not find any information so if you know anything let a girl know right now all the stock on selfridges is limited as well here's the deal Here's this foundation. This is the Dior Forever Summer Skin Foundation. Product details. Start by gently dabbing onto areas that require correction, then smooth to blend. If you are looking for completely even coverage over the entire face, you can use a foundation brush. It's 24 hour wear, which means no touch-ups are needed during the day. I don't like that description. I feel like it's not very, not very descriptive, but okay. Yeah, that really didn't tell me much. But anyways, this foundation has four shades. Light, medium light, medium deep. Obviously a very limited range, which is disappointing. However, if it is just a tint, then it's not that big of a deal. Right now on Selfridges, most shades are sold out. I got mine in the shade medium light, but they sent me light. Okie dokie. That's okay. I'm a fair girl. Well, I ordered the shade medium light. It looks like I just got sent light, and I think that's what happened to Jacqueline. Selfridges, what you doing? It's not that big of a deal for me, but okay. But light's not available, medium light's not available. Medium deep is currently low in stock. I don't know about when this video will be posted and deep is still available. Limited shade range, everything's sold out. They're not telling me when it's releasing, so we're not off to the best start and Selfridges doesn't really give that much information. Okay. On the website, it is 37, is that euros? 37 euros, which is $41. So that is how much I pay. $41 for this, you are getting 40 milliliters or 1.3 fluid ounces. That's about the average foundation amount. And it is made in France. Okay, you know what? The box has given us some information. So sorry, this is all over the place. <laughs> Long wear makeup combined with skincare, Dior Forever has created its summer foundation with summer skin. Natural looking coverage, 24 hour wear in hot weather, and a sun-kissed healthy glow. 
glow. That's what we need, 24 hour wear in the summer, but still giving us a glow. And this is claiming like it's gonna last in the heat. Unfortunately, it's gross and rainy outside, so I can't really give you that true test. Just supposed to give you long wear natural. Okay, let's just put it on the face because I have been chit-chatting up a storm and that was just not necessary. I tried to cover it, but I've been in battle with two friends this morning. I lost. I am back to blaming the Fenty cream products because I used them in a video and how convenient that they end up on my contour line. And they're nasty. I don't get nasty mean ones like this. So I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer down. I'm using my Pat McGrath LM12 concealer. If you're dealing with skin tints, this is what you gotta do if you don't have perfect skin. It's just, it's not gonna cover ridiculously red zits. So you got to go in with a little bit of concealer and it's not that big of a deal. So if you do have acne or breakouts, you can totally wear skin tints. You're just gonna need a concealer that covers well and then you'll be good. So I like to put some down first and then I will put some down later as well once I apply the foundation. So I'm gonna, we're gonna shake this. This is a lightweight kind of plastic bottle. It's not a glass bottle like a lot of their other products which is fine and then you kind of just squeeze it on so like I said this is light but maybe this actually is medium light no it's light but it kind of looks dark hmm. like this looks like a good color for me I like to apply skin tints with my fingers but we're gonna try a sponge first to see because this looks like it does have a weedle beta coverage oh yeah this gives you a light yeah, I actually kind of blended away. Uh, I'm not, let's keep going. Yeah, for light, this is kind of dark. Like this is a good shade for me. I'm glad I got this shade on accident. Yeah, so that pulled up my concealer right away, you guys, just so you know, which is okay. That happens a lot with most foundations. I just wanted to see if it would happen with this and it did. I'm just anti-foundation brush. I'm sorry, I refuse. I'm so stubborn. So it looks like when you apply foundation the way that I do, if you do, you look like you're getting a little bit more coverage, but then once you actually kind of blend her out, it does go away. And this does seem to be oxidizing, you guys. Oh my, I don't, this has to be the medium light. Oh guys, this is oxidizing. I'll blend this down. So yeah, my face got like three shades darker. And if this is the lighter shade, I am really worried. But the finish on the skin really is natural and glowy. However, it is glowy to a point where it is kind of making your girl look a little sweaty, kind of showing off pores a little bit. Nothing bad, but just when light hits, that's what happens. So it does reach that claim of a really glowy summery complexion. I am getting a very light amount of coverage. It does kind of go away, but it definitely evens everything out a bit. Big flaw though, this definitely oxidized like two shades. So I would recommend if you're between two shades to go for the lighter shade. I, if this is the lightest shade and it wasn't mislabeled, this is really dark. I'm about a NC 25 to 30 and there are a lot more fair people than myself. I'm gonna apply just a little bit more kind of on the red areas on my face to see if we can build up some coverage. If you want more coverage, use a really, really light hand as well with your sponge if you're using a sponge. Guys, this might be almost glowy to a fault. I don't think for everyday application you're gonna want to put as much product on. You can build coverage a little bit, but not that much for the most part. Once you put down that first layer, you get what you get. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and we'll see how this looks when I conceal a bit, powder. I'm gonna get a powder on one side and let's just see how this pulls together, but I don't know guys, I don't know. So I kept the makeup look pretty simple. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer so you guys can see and I'll explain what I did, what I'm expecting, blase blase. This 
oxidized like crazy. So I did go in with a lighter concealer in the center of my face. So I applied some on my under eyes, a little bit on my forehead and my chin, and I carried it over onto my nose just to create more balance on my face because I was looking a little Oompa Loompa-ish. I only powdered this side with translucent powder. I used the Milk Makeup Blur and Set. Uh, I used a cream bronzer powder blush. I really wanted to get powder blush on this part of my cheek because it was looking extra, extra glowy and not a flattering way. And then I also went with powder highlight as well because I do feel like this does need a little bit of powder to carry this through as far as wear time. I do have a normal to dry skin type. Obviously, it's more normal now that winter has come to a close. I definitely prefer the side with powder just because it's a little bit too sweaty, oily looking on this side in that it is emphasizing some of the pores that I have right here. And even with the powder on top, it still looks glowy, but flattering. You can kind of see it peeking through and I think as time goes by, it's going to come back in a much more flattering way. So instantly my recommendation is to powder it, but for scientific purposes, I did not set this side. It is extra glowy. So if you like that, you might like this, but the finish on the face is pretty. It definitely gives you a light coverage and it does not build up. The thing though, for being such light coverage, I hate how much this oxidizes. Just be mindful of that when choosing your shade. For something that oxidizes so much, I don't know why they have only four shades. And if this is truly the light shade, this is really dark. I mean, my skin looks good. It looks natural. It looks lightweight. It feels lightweight. And I do enjoy how it looks, especially with other products now. My skin most definitely looks much more even, very healthy and glowy as it says it will. So I'm gonna update you guys in a few hours. By the way, it is 9.45, so I got this on at about 9.15ish, but we'll say 9.30. We'll start the clock there. Hi guys, so it's almost 12, so we've been wearing this foundation for about just under two and a half hours, and I did want to show you how the foundation has settled into my skin. I think this is the prime point to really see how a foundation is looking after it's had some time to settle down. After going through my footage, I did forget to mention this does not seem to have any SPF in it, which is odd for a summer foundation. Usually foundations marketed for summer also contain SPF. This does not. I mean, that doesn't really bother me. I just put SPF underneath. I just think it's odd. This doesn't have SPF in it. Also, it is scented. It does have a very slight fragrance to it. It's just that regular Dior soapy, fresh fragrance type of scent, which I really like. I know some people are anti-fragrance, which I mean, maybe I should be considering the zits you see on my face. I like it and it is very subtle. Like I find their powders to have more of that scent than this. The more I'm wearing this, the more I'm like, this color is <laughs> really, really orange. Like I'm looking extra bronze. I just think it's not right that this is light and it is this dark. That's like wrong. I definitely think <laughs> this foundation needs powder. My unpowdered side, I just feel like my flaws are really showing. I see a little bit of buildup up in this area. Whereas this side, like it just looks nice. It looks really natural. There's no blurring or anything like that happening. It's sitting on the skin pretty. It's not heavy. It's not cakey. You can see it did go into a little bit of my smile lines, but the foundation is so thin that it doesn't really create an obvious line. It's just very faint. Yeah, this foundation most definitely holds a lot better set for me. Very lightweight looking, better with some powder. So that's kind of the two hour, two and a half hour checkpoint. I will come at you around the five hour mark. All right guys, just checking in for my five hour checkpoint. It is about 2.30. I did go outside. I went for a walk with my boyfriend and it was, it was really humid out. This did definitely get some humidity testing going on. Uh, let me zoom you guys in. How close and personal. It's honestly not looking too different from the two and a half hour checkpoint other than this side is like super duper 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 glowy <laughs> and the powdered side just looks so much better you guys if you buy this please powder we have a little bit of deeper traveling in the fine lines and I definitely notice it more on the unset portion of course this actually may be just the concealer not actually the foundation it does seem to be wearing okay but I still look really sweaty but that's how I kind of looked on application so it doesn't seem to have gotten too much worse like it definitely over here yeah I'm gonna give it a couple more hours I might just do a seven hour wear test today because I kind of have collected my thoughts already and 
But anyways, I'll check in in a couple more hours. To a third outfit change. I just got back from Starbucks. I wanted to look a little bit more presentable, but we are officially at the seven hour checkpoint. I wanted to make it to eight, but honestly, I know what I think at this point. So it is 4.30, I'm ready to get this off of my face, but I wanna zoom in really quickly so that you guys can see. Gotta admit, my powdered side is looking pretty good. I can see a little bit of oil buildup beginning around here. Over here, we're not looking so hot as I expected just based on how it looked the first second I put it on my face. But def recommend powder. The blush and highlight on my cheek have held up very well throughout the day. I really don't think this has the worst staying power. It's actually pretty good. The problem with it is that it's just so glowy and it just, it, it can only get worse from there. It starts off too glowy. Whereas I feel like if this had a little bit of a more mattifying property or just wasn't as glowy, it would wear prettier. But when you're starting off with something super dewy, it's not gonna get any less dewy. Like I can only imagine somebody who has an oily skin type wearing this you're gonna look like a hot mess i have normal to dry skin and i'm like i need some powder or something the formulation of this like it's really not bad it's very lightweight on the skin it's a nice light foundation what my problem with this is is this color range it's awful if i buy a foundation and i choose the wrong shade i'm not going to complain about the shade this i have to complain about because this lightest shade is way too dark on me there's no reason for me to buy the lightest shade and for it to be three shades darker on me i honestly feel like it ha it most definitely has oxidized throughout the day the worst is in the first five minutes i applied it it looks like my color and then boom right away it was so dark i'm looking a little oompa loompa y today uh, you can see my foundation line I just think did like did they test this did they put this on fair skin tone and think that this was okay and you know it's weird because let's be honest Dior markets towards white women and this ain't even for them which is anyways <laughs> so I have a huge issue with that I'm not gonna lie let me zoom back out you guys can kind of see we oily and we shiny so let me zoom back out so basically i mean my feelings on this is that things just feel very unrefined about this release you know there's no information really out there it's difficult to get your hands on on the website i feel like just things weren't made clear of what the product was and the color range is truly a tragedy it's like they didn't even test it it's crazy now the formulation itself is it's not bad. It has more coverage than a normal skin tint. It gives you a light coverage. You're not getting anything higher than that. It's way, 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 way too dewy if you have even like normal to oily to combo. Any of those skin types are gonna struggle with this. It's too glowy to a fault. I know we want glowy summery skin, but I just, unless you are all about looking sweaty and oily, which some people are, this might be for you. And if that is what you're looking for, the wear time on this is pretty good given what you're starting out with. So I don't think the formulation is bad, but honestly on my channel, I just can't recommend this product to you guys. I feel like Dior has so much better base products to offer and this just isn't one of them. It's not not bad enough to make me want to throw it away or return it. I do also want to get a couple more wears out of it just to make sure this is truly how I feel. But I'm not gonna lie, given how badly this oxidizes and just the shades that are available, I can't get behind this. The fact, like, there's not even a shade for me, really. I'm not sure how deep the deep shades go, but there's only four shades. Definitely not everybody is included in this launch. So, yeah, I mean, I would look towards other products in Dior. Their complexion products are beautiful. They probably made a good decision making this limited edition because it's okay. I would much rather grab for my Laura Mercier or something. So anyways, I haven't done a foundation review in a while. So this was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.